Hello everyone, Steve Siebel back with the public speakers blog dot com here in rainy Brighton, England, outside of uh, London. I'm here at the BBC, uh, just did a radio show on the Danny Pike show, which I was on last year as well for uh, How Rich People Think, the European part of the tour. Here's my point today for the blog. I was just doing the show with Danny and um, and he, he asked me about motivational speakers in England and in Europe. He said, do, do you have a lot of motivational speakers in the UK and throughout Europe, or are they mostly America? It seems like they're mostly America. And it's a great question. I didn't expect it on this tour. It's the first time I got that. But it's really a great question that he asked. Because the truth is, most motivational speakers or public professional speakers are, as most of you know, are located in the United States where the business started. But here's, but they are coming on, as I said on the show, they are coming on in London and all over the UK and in all throughout Europe and throughout the world. And here's the point I want to make. We need more speakers, especially speakers that are motivational uh, by topic. And I'll tell you why, because with the economy the way it is worldwide and the, and the feeling and the climate that, that's going on all over the world, I mean, here in, in, in England, it's the same way as it is in America. It's the same way as in Canada. It seems like everywhere I go, it's always it's, just, it's the same. Two, for two years now, people have been really down emotionally, and we need more people to pump up the troops to really to make people feel better about hope and optimism and freedom and opportunity and all the good things in life, as opposed to reading the traditional press and listening to the traditional press, which is saying, uh, the, the end of times. I mean, this is the end. It's never going to be as good as it was. And like they say a lot of times in the States that, uh, that uh, we're not going to have it as good in this generation as our parents. Not my generation, but the younger generation is not going to have as good as their parents, which has always been sort of the standard that we've set in society in the, in the U.S. And, and somewhat throughout the world. So if you're outside the States or inside the States and you want to be a speaker, a motivational speaker right now is a good thing to be because we need motivation throughout the world. People need to know there's hope. Hope is a very, very powerful emotion. You know that. I know that. But I think we forget it sometimes, that people forget that. So if you want to be a motivational speaker, now is the time. Whether you're from here in England or the United States or Canada or Australia or anywhere in the world, this is the time. And if you're a business speaker like me, I'm, um, you know, I'm a mental toughness speaker. I speak mostly to sales teams and you're a business speaker. Put a motivational piece in your next speech because people need hope right now more than I've ever seen or you've probably ever seen in any of our lifetimes. So I'm Steve Siebel with that message from the BBC in Sussex here in Brighton, England. Rainy Brighton, England. Thanks for watching the Public Speaker's Blog. I'll see you next time.